Well, I don't think James and I are going to be leaving on time. So our plan was to leave the 28th, go stop down at Gaston, hang out with my dad for the night, and then get to Sheeran Harris on the 1st of March. But unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I don't think that's going to happen. So we're probably going to be a few days late on the kickoff of the 50 state tour, but that's okay. You know, I planned this thing very roughly and it was like five months ago and I didn't get the things I needed until very last minute. I got home last night or this morning at 5 a.m. and I left Matt's house up in Delaware. We were working on the boat all weekend long, probably like 30 some hours, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And last night I decided to leave after we finished building at like 2.30 a.m. Came home so I could go take care of the van. Pat has been working on it all weekend with James and they haven't sent me any pictures so I haven't seen it at all. I have no idea what to expect. It's gonna be awesome, I know that much. But again, I haven't seen it since I left on Friday. So they did a whole weekend's worth of work on it. So you guys are gonna experience this with me. This is the first time I've seen the van completely finished. So we're gonna head over to Pat's pick up the van. We're going to take it to the dealership because he did also find a bit of oil leaking from underneath, which is definitely not a good thing. So I'm going to take it in. Hopefully they'll be able to fix it quickly because we're still looking to leave within the next four or five days. So I've been fighting the fact that we might have to push back the start date. You know, I just, I know it's not that big of a deal. We're going through 50 states and there really isn't a reason that it's in such a quick timeline besides the fact that James has to be back by June 1st but I could always bring him back and just finish off whatever I need to do but I still want to stick to this tentative plan I want to stay you know on the move I want to stay hungry I want to keep fishing as much as I can and just like moving waters checking out new waters getting to every state meeting a ton of you guys and I really hate the fact that I have to push it back but you know I've been fighting it forever and it's just time to come to terms with it I just don't think I'll be able to pull it off, honestly, leaving in two days. Still have to finish the boat, go back up to Delaware, help Matt with that, bring it back down. And then there's the whole aspect of like just packing the van and the boat and getting everything 100% ready. I also have to break in that new motor and just test the boat out. So, I don't know, I might call it a couple extra days, a few extra days, I don't know. But we got to go check out the van. I'm so stoked. Let's go. All right, so uh, Matt's just pulling up now. Uh, we're gonna unveil the camper van. He hasn't seen it since Friday, so we've had it for four more days to finish it up, and uh, we're gonna get his reaction today. We got a lot of cool details. What's up? I'm so stoked. How you doing? Good, good. How about you? Are you ready? Yeah, dude. I'm so ready. All right, here we go. It's the first time I've seen Which the van. Which way do you want to go in? I don't know. To your beautiful new home. You tell me. All right. You ready? Yep. Oh my god, dude. It's insane. What? Dude. Look at that. This is our home. Dude, this is amazing. Dude, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bring it in. <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much. Serious. Thank you. See, show us around. All right, so we got the skull. This is a this is a print of an original piece that I have in the house. These are all antique lures, um, which you know, I'm not sure how they're gonna go <laughs> driving down the road. They so, look great, man. Uh, this came out of an old uh, warehouse. I pulled it from. Actually, everything in here came from somewhere else. Awesome. So the, every bit of wood, plywood, you know, I mean, Whoa, obviously. I didn't even realize the this, underskin. Dude. Wow. This I love that, yeah. The underskin was, you know, of course, new lumber. But, uh, you know, we went ahead and painted the ceiling, trimmed it everything. Looks so ridiculous. Trimmed everything out. You know, this is your power box. There's nothing exciting really going on in there. Yeah, but, not yet. I got right. all that at home. I'm going to have to <laughs> rig. Dude. It's amazing. This looks awesome too. Holy crap. Oh man, the beds. So comfy. and the 
That's the man that got it all done for us. I'm tired. So sick. He put probably over 90 hours worth of work into this for me. I cannot. So eight days. Be oh, wait, eight, we're on the ninth days. day. Ninth day. Yeah. Those details. Finished it up today, and I'm just absolutely blown away. Don't think I could have asked for anything better. Seriously. And if you guys, any of you out there, that want to have something like this done. Yep. I'll leave a link down in the description below for his Facebook if you want to get in touch with him for some absolutely beautiful work. Make sure you go click that. Also, Pat is riding yep, and Tour in de a Rouge. huge Tour de Rouge. Yep. Yeah. So tell so, us a little bit about that. Tour de Rouge is a fundraiser for the Arc of Houston, an organization that advocates for people with special needs with equal inclusion in society. So they really try to help people integrate or get the, the tools that they need to succeed. I have a, the mission of raising $3,000. I have to raise $2,750 by the ride, uh, which is the first week of May. I ride with a team called Resistors BC, and we'll put the link below. Please, if you can help out any at all, um, it would be a really big help. You know, I did all this work on the van, pro bono. Uh, all the materials I put into it, all of this is reclaimed materials from my personal collection. And, um, you know, it's all in a mission to gain a little bit of attention. Uh, this is a new venture of mine, uh, McMaker Studios. Uh, the name says it all. The logo can, can say even more. If you need something made, uh, a van, a uh, treehouse, you know, we got some, tree you'll, house see, is sick. you'll see some pictures on my uh, Facebook page. I don't really have a website yet, but uh, I'm more interested in just uh, getting out there and building, less interested in spending time in front of the computer. I just, I just sort of left the last 15 years of, uh, owning and running a print shop. I'm ready to be out, you know, getting splinters, hammering my finger, trying to make the best out of the uh, the challenges that are given to me. Hell so I really yeah. appreciate this challenge and I, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy to put my name on this. You and, should be. Uh, everybody should check it out when these guys are in town. Hell yeah, we're gonna share the van with all you guys in every single state except for Alaska and Hawaii, but we'll be everywhere else. But seriously, if you guys have a second, please click the link down in the description below and donate to Pat's ride. It's 537 miles. Yep. And it's yep. all, it's a very positive thing. It's going to a good cause. So he did this for us. And I say us because we're gonna have like 80 to 90 videos coming out in the next three months. And there would have been no way that could have happened without him. So if you guys can go down there and donate, it would be greatly appreciated by me. And I know Pat as well. So I, dude, it's, it's time to, it's time to fish. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm. Seriously blown away, truly. And, of course, we've got the Nerf guns. <laughs> we have some clips when we were, we were here, what, the second day? And Max oh, yeah. was home, so uh, he had a, son a Max snow day. Oh, had a snow that's day. another thing. We hit every single type of weather during this build <laughs> that I think the earth can throw at us. It snowed. It snowed, it rained, it blew 50, 60 mile per hour, the power went out for a little while, the, you know, it, it's just, you know, it was, uh, what, 20-something degrees one day, yep. uh, almost 60 degrees another, a sunny day. Yep, and a beautiful day uh, today. Yeah, and a beautiful day today. Uh, it man, it's, it's just crazy. I can't believe we pulled it off. I, uh, I can't believe it either. I, I can't believe now. this is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is crazy. I can't wait to get this thing on the road. Jeez. Let's see. We got the van back. So, a little bit of a crazy story for you guys. After I went and got the van from Pat's, I immediately brought it to this Dodge dealership here. This is Safford Dodge. It was the closest dealership to Pat's house and I really didn't want to drive it far because it had been leaking oil. This is something that was just bothering me big time. Like that's a big issue. I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I did a little bit of research online and everything I saw, it was saying that the warranty work would take two to three weeks or three weeks to a month. And I was just pretty much freaking out about it and I knew there was nothing that I could do. But I walked into the Safford Dodge, walked up to the service counter, and I hear a strikle. And I look over, and it's Aaron Brown. He fishes in the Fountainhead Bass Club tournaments. He is partners with David Harr. That dude saved the trip. I have to give it to Aaron. Absolutely 
hundred percent. They found out that it was the rear main seal and it was leaking oil. There's no way I could have gotten it done any quicker had I taken it anywhere else. It's so lucky. Like I was talking about at the end of the last van build video, the swings of like what is leading up to this trip have just been the lowest lows and the highest highs. When I got the text about the van leaking oil, my stomach just sank. I was just like, great. Like that's another massive problem. It's gonna take, you know, who knows how long. Him and his guys got it done in two days and it was just one of the luckiest things that's happened to me. I had no idea that he worked there. He had no idea I was coming in. It was just the moment of like, of chance. So freaking lucky. But I'm stoked to have the van. Huge thanks to Pat McMahon for setting this baby up. We're actually texting right now. I'm gonna go meet up with him in the next couple days. We're gonna do a little bit more finishing like on this door and the back door, but that's such minimal stuff. It'll just take a couple hours to get done. This thing is phenomenal. I have to set up the electrical system for it and do a couple other small things, pack it up, and then we're ready to get rolling. I'm actually gonna go grab the boat. I brought that home last night from Delaware. You guys are gonna see that in the next video. I'm gonna take it out and get it carpeted. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been so fun bringing you guys along this experience and this journey. I can't wait to get on the road and do some fishing. It's been two weeks today since I've fished and I am itching to get out on the water. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for me if you guys want to follow along with this 50 state journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.